each of us had a part of the puzzle to solve and we had to understand our responsibilities and, and work together, but also collaboration with the industry. This wasn't going to happen by the government telling people what to do. It really had to be a collaboration. So we worked with an industry uh, working group as well. And I think there was originally, initially, there was pushback on the policy. Why do we have to do this? This isn't the role of a retirement fund. Why are we doing this? That quickly dissipated to acceptance and let's just get on with this. How are we going to do it? And, and, and I do think that uh, there was a common goal. The idea that COVID was really impacting people's lives and people had financial hardship, that was actually something that everybody was interested in helping. So there was really open communication, probably more than in the past between these government agencies and the retirement funds and their representatives. And to the extent that the agency responsible for taking the applications, they walked through step by step all of the steps of their application process and what the controls were at each step. And that meant that the funds could really challenge that process, question it and see what the security controls were, see what the identity verification was and then see what additional controls they were going to have to do at their end once they received the data to make sure, to fill in the gaps that, that weren't happening at the other part of the process. So that communication and, and really the government agencies admitting we didn't have all the answers and listening to those questions and, and accepting the challenge and adapting to that, I think was really important to make sure that the controls were as good as they could be. Everybody knew that the money needed to get to people quickly, but everybody had a different idea of what quickly meant. And it was our role as uh, the Prudential Regulator to define how fast the funds needed to react. And so we put out guidance that said, you need to pay within five business days of receiving an application. Now we got pushback on that, but I think us being decisive and being clear actually helped the funds know what the target was. And so what controls they had to put in place, what controls were gonna be impossible to, to implement in a five day window. And so uh, what their um, residual risk was gonna be in the process as well. So that decisiveness and that clarity and the open communication was really important. There was this continuous feedback and uh, continuous learning that I think every day throughout the scheme it was, as it was running in 2020, it, there was this effort to continually improve the risk management as we went through. This was a, a very large program. Ultimately, by the end of it, over $35 billion was paid out to three and a half million people. And 95% of the payments were made within those five business days. So it worked we all got a much better result because we listened. 